Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. They need you on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus! Are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him! At least get him a mask, or makeup, or something. Hey, get, get, get that there. guy out of there! Oh, He's got signed oh, off! Man, I'm sorry! Oh, oh, oh. Brandon? Oh, oh my god! Get off the wheel! I need to get the fuck out of here! They're coming! Studio security are all over you! Oh fuck, we gonna lose these guys! Is this an abduction? No! You, you dick! You cool? No, I'm not cool! Not at all! I mean, chill out! I'm just interested in the whip! What's this? Spikes? What do you mean, the whip? Ha <laughs> ha, shredded! What do you mean, the whip? I could buy this car with what I make in a morning. I think you underestimating the value of this... Ha <laughs> <laughs> shit, man, he ain't coming back! I think you underestimating the value of this automobile. Or overestimating your own talent. Damn, what's this button do? If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can reconfigure his route to meet you there. All right, cool. I got the car. No drama. That's good. The studio is enough of a money sink without the costs that that drama can bring. What kind of shape is the car in? We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spikes and ejector seat need replacing too? Uh, both of those are going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. Developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. 
Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. This is private property! Get out of here! Yeah. Any more you bitches wanna get in my way? You motherfucking asshole! Take him out! He's got a gun! Don't stand there! Where's Enzo? I got him! Over here! Over here! Fuck is he? I'll blaze all you fools if I have to. This is where it ends, buddy. Rome? No! you out of business, motherfuckers! Get me out of here! Take cover! Oh, On the ground! Man down! You wanna fuck with me? I'll lay y'all ass down. Cover 
shit, there he is! Stay on Enzo! It's taken care of, but man, that shit went south. I know. We better let this simmer now. Way too much heat. Very nice work, Franklin. <laughs> what you got here? Oh, yeah. It's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this... This here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Got yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So... Far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open! See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen. I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes! Woo! Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. 
He said he knew about something. Now you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. Let me call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You? are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why well, be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying! Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. The bus stops up here. All right, how long does it take us to get out here from L.S.? Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. Dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> okay, let's take a look at this bank. 
I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. Uh, take us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind. No one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Drive over to the empty lot with the open-top dumpster in it. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay, I brought my police scanner. Now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. All right. Toledo Base Security Services Frequency. We have a Code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Toledo cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. The alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops guarding dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass. I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor...
He says, what took you so long? Had to let you win. <coughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito! Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a... a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Ah, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. This really the guy you want? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm? you do what you do. Roger that. I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want a bunk with us? I mean, it's gonna be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I'll get a motel, thanks. All right, sure. Fine, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos! Hmm? Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom, too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Please, son. <laughs> you want a sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. Oh, man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Oh, fuck you. Uh, so where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit, the picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you've gone. Man, ten years in the sun, your brain has melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? That I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? 
fuck compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. sane, 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 oh, okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? <laughs> I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty on. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here? By calling L.S. and inviting a known accomplice of ours? You know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. I apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? I might die. Hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boys. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. What is Franklin doing for you anyway? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. If he's back in Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about him? God damn it! Damn, these redneck fools know we own them now. <laughs> That's right, Chop. We're gonna fuck him up as soon as Trevor get here. Hey, man, me and Chop on these punks. We're coming up to WH, north of Two Miles. All right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog. Hey, man, me and Chop own these punks. We're coming up to WH, north of Two Miles. All right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are going to take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support like right fucking now. Don't worry. Incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Yeah. 
Here she is, Ms. Ellie. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's. Look, why do these guys, the O'Neills, want you dead anyway? There was a deal, a contract to end all contracts, serious multinational stuff. I was this close, and they stole it off me. Ho -ho Hold up. If they stole your business, why do they want you dead? Ah, what's with all the questions? Can't you just take my side for once? Hey, I'm coming along for the ride, ain't I? Yeah, but I sense your heart ain't in it. Yeah, I'm lucky my heart ain't in a pie on your kitchen table. Always with the quips. You're such a depressing cynic. Oh, poor Trevor. I'm sorry I'm a human being with thoughts and feelings and emotions. Wait a second. I remember this chopper. We used this to break into the IAA building. You stole it from the FIB? Not so. I took it in lieu of payment. There was a rifle on board too, so if your panties aren't all in a twist over stolen office supplies, can you please use it to scan the forest for the O'Neills? Hey, hey! We here on the ground! Them hick dudes! That model's fitted with a thermal scope. Look for their heat signatures. Check the river. They might be trying to float out of here. Wouldn't you know it? Okay, I got a guy in the water. I got him. Can't outrun a bullet, baby. We gotta keep looking. There's the new golden child.
we're alive. Hey, good work down there. I'm the one who says thank you. He was helping me. Thank you, Franklin. Yes, cool home. And thank you, Chop. Hey, are you gonna tell us exactly what we were helping with? I know you said these guys stole some business, but that doesn't really explain why they wanted you dead. Oh, uh, didn't I say what happened after they stole the contract? No, nope, you didn't. Uh, I went to their farm and I killed a lot of them and then I blew it up. Killed a lot of them? Yes! I think that was Elwood, Walton, and Wynn who we killed just then. I killed Ernie, Earl, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dalton, Don, and a few other guys when I blew up the farm. So, maybe this is kind of a revenge thing. I don't know. Let's not forget that I'm the wrong party here. Yeah, you are definitely the wrong party. Oh, for sure. Coming into land! Going to feel good, huh? Helping a friend in need? Come on, Chop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're going to borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back in Castle Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. We did it! 